YouTube, it's time for another Sunday video. Um, this week, we've got brand new content, most of which hasn't been shown, I don't believe, in streaming. Uh, we're actually starting from the Vive home screen, as opposed to Steam. Uh, there's still some Steam trademark back there, of course. Um, and today we're going to look at six games. A10 VR, which is made by the same people as Cloudlands VR Mini Golf, which you've probably seen, and Jibo Man. Uh, Beach Ball Valley, which is by Puzzle Bug. VR Baseball Home Run Derby, which is by, I believe, Unity 3D Dev School or something of that nature. It actually is branded inside. What was really cool is the guy that made the game also made a game a day for seven days for the vibe, which was really cool. He shared kind of the concepts. Uh, some of the games had source code shared as well. Uh, we're also going to check out Hollow Dance. Bow Slinger, which doesn't even have an icon yet. It is brand new. It's actually made by one of the other contest winners from the Steam VR developer showcase that I went to back in January, which is how the Vive Pre ended up in my hands. And then we're going to go to the Peerhead Arcade and play some classic arcade games. So we're going to start off with A10 VR. Now you'll notice it just moved back to Steam. Uh, that's currently how Vive Home operates. We're just gonna play high mode for today. A10. Um, I don't know how well I did. This may have been my top score. Or this may have been the 245 score. Uh, 245. So not the best I've ever done, but a pretty fun game. Um, 
There's a lot of shooter games for the vibe. Um, this one is pretty fun. I like the 360 degree angles that you have to go to actually play it, um, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to go back to our vibe home and open up our second title, which is Beach Ball Valley. Uh, Beach Ball Valley is an offbeat title. Um, I played it for the first time earlier today. And let's see. Essentially, you're knocking beach balls into the valley with some pizza paddle. That one went pretty far. Now you can teleport. Either side of the castle, and I'm going to load up some beach balls here. I'm going to go back up to the top of the castle. If I hold in the menu button, now we get the opportunity to play kind of a mini game of sorts. Whoops! And if I don't teleport and hurt myself here. So if we get them through the frames, they actually give us points for each one we hit through the frames. Last ball, and I fail. But the other cool thing is you can also go here, and you can roll them up the hill and watch them roll back down at you, or over the hill where they'll never come back. This is a kind of fun title. Um, I believe it is a launch title for the Vibe. You can see the ball I just hit over there bouncing off the castle wall. So again, Beach Ball Valley. Uh, it's kind of the Windows 95 home screen with the hills uh, with a castle in the, in the top corner here. That ball's sailing pretty far over there. And into the back. So, there you have it. Beach Ball Valley. And this is actually the new Vive home screen uh, as well. So, let's see. Up next is VR Baseball Home Run Derby. I'm not very good at baseball, I learned. <laughs> so much so that I'm going to play Toddler Mode, which also uses these balls. And Unity 3 d College. Thank you. 
different I just got access to today. Um, again, this is made by a fellow contest winner from the IGN contest winner. Uh, the name of their company is Pompadour. So Pompadour has this game. I don't know if it will be a launch title or not, um, but it's called Bow Slingers, which is a virtual reality archery game. Uh, there are a bunch of virtual reality archery games coming out for the Vive. Um, this one in particular though is pretty fun. So you can pick up. Give you the trigger. 
Wait behind you for an arrow. And shoot the target. Now, pressing the touchpad toggle slow mo, I'm not sure what that does yet. Let's see what happens. Not sure why we would move slow mo. Let's get to the demo. So there's a start button right there. There's also some practice targets over here. And as you can see, I'm not that good. One of the other cool features is there is a spectator cam. So you can see me here. Spectators can actually watch the spectator cam footage. Um, on the app itself. And then, here's where we go to start. Looks like I picked up a camera too, which is kind of cool. That was pretty poor, but 670 uh, with 28 arrows, not a great game. Um, it is a very fun game though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set down my bow here. Um, bow Slinger, again, is my Papa Duo. I don't know if it's going to be a launch title for the Vive, but if it is, check it out. Now we're going to move on to our last title. Um, which again is a title that I've had the fortune of having a lot of time to spend with over the past month or so. Uh, this is the Peerhead Arcade. This one is coming out for the Vive at launch. This one is going to be an early access title. Um, as you see those kind of machines here. Uh, looks like a couple of the ones that were previously in the game are currently missing. Um, how there they are. So, What's cool is you can actually teleport to each of these machines. I'm going to start with this one here, which is binary dash. And you just insert a point and see what it is. Here. 
which is incredibly realistic as far as involvement. Just as challenging as it is to keep them off. Not the best score on this one, 130. Um, the highest score on this one is 130, so that's pretty accurate. It also gives you the instructions here. You can toss that cube out of, out of the way also. But it's pretty fun. Um, move on to Super Shoot. This is a classic basketball shooter. Strangely, I suck at basketball, but that's okay. I'm a video gamer, not a sports game. Ball bounce. Put the ball ball off the target and try to get into the boxes. That was a pretty poor game. 40 points. Um, 
There you go, Mecca said, I now have the top score on Scarab Talk, not a good instance of that one. I'll go over to our train game, hopefully we'll come back to the event on that other day. My purple friend are going to go home. And there you have it. Tonight's episode, uh, well, this morning's episode actually, for this Sunday, is the last one before the Vive launches. Um, if you are purchasing an HTC Vive, 
I'll see you in some of the multiplayer games, I'm sure. I'm Shelly Productions on Steam, so you can look for me there. And enjoy the vibe. Enjoy any kind of VR if you've got it. And if you don't, seek it out. Virtual reality is awesome. Until next week, see ya.